Sinan. Hey. Do you hear a million voices? I do. And which two voices are the loudest? Oh God, the haters. <laughs> no, Tusa and Montaigne. Yeah. The next two acts to have their second rehearsal here at Eurovision 2021. I think we should discuss and react. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's, Let's do this. this. First up was Sweden's Tusa. This performance was already strong during the first rehearsal, and today it was even stronger. It seems like they turned the lights up a bit, so you could see everything a bit more clearly in golden hues, beautiful golden hues. I love the water or the lava. You know, it's water. The water on the ground is more vibrant. They cut the camera to the side, and you see golden lights coming out when Tusa's walking. It's just there's a lot more light. There's a beautiful moment where everything goes white and like it looks like black smoke appears yeah. on the white LED so you think too I don't know he's being zapped or he's being reborn or he's kind yeah. of emerging and then the lights the yeah. golden lights that's amazing the embers and the fire it's mm -hmm. just really quite stunning um, th this was excellent <laughs> yeah vocals on the point and I'm so happy that they fixed and they changed a little bit the camera angles yeah which is really really important on TV uh, show yeah. because Eurovision is a TV show and um, yeah well there's nothing much to say actually because Sweden always do the right stuff yeah what I will say is they often you know take the bulk of their show from Melody Festival, mm -hmm. but this year I feel like they've changed they add, more. Yeah, they add as well. So, yeah, they've yeah. really elevated for this yeah. Rotterdam stage. Um, this is going through. I, I, tell Come me a juror on, who's not going to respect that. <laughs> Sweden and the song is not bad. It's a good. Song. It's a great song. He is. The, he's the key here. He makes it so real, vibrant. There's a the right amount of grit. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes Sweden's accused of being too polished and too perfect and a little sterile, but I think he adds the grit in his demeanor, his freedom of expression, his sort of swagger. Yeah. We say swagger. Can like, you hear that? Yeah. In the interview when we spoke to him, he's just a bundle of joy. Yeah. He says what he wants to say. He laughs. Uh, yeah, he's, a, he's actually quite touching. Um, one of the personalities of the year. Ah, oh, absolutely. He's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Love he's him. 18. He, 19, yeah, he's so 18. young. So, so, so smart. Such good English. Wow. We move on to Australia. Australia. And now technique, this technique color, technique, technique color. This was really, really, really fascinating. We saw the entire run through this time, yeah. and it is amazing. Let's just say the cricket stadium performance, that's with Girl. the crickets. Bye. She, she said goodbye to all that. This was on point. <laughs> Vocally, this is what people were worried about. Can this be sung live? Let's talk about the vocals first. It was amazing. It was amazing. The high notes at the end, towards the end. Pff. Nailed it, 100%. I am so happy for Montaigne, like girl, and so sad at the same time because imagine this on the stage here in Ahoy, that would have been the best, like the best. Yeah, it, it, this looks like nothing else. Mm -mm. We talk about the visual. Oh. It's, you think she could be in Ahoy for all you know. I yeah. mean, she really could. They show it on a screen on the stage yeah. during the show. So oh. people in Ahoy will see this performance on the big screen mm -hmm. on the stage. It starts in kind of darkness and there's a spotlight and the silhouette of Montaigne emerges and she's got her brightly colored hair and this dark, how would you describe it? It's like, is it pleather? Is it, I thought it was metal, but it's not metal. It's like poofy, black, uh, re reflective. Yeah, like, it's yeah, reflective. yeah, yeah. Um, and then her, her girls come in and it's this vast black expanse and it, it's just so mysterious and they have white white lights, white beams, yeah. white strobes. She's so backlit. Like, um, amazing. And then when everything picks up, it goes kind of purpley, like purple disco and the technicolor, they're like these effects, so it's like a technicolor fantasy. Yeah, and retro, it, it's a, it's also a little bit glitchy effect. Yeah. Like glitch, like transitioning all the time and the lights are just so very well um, added to the performance. I really loved it. It's like a light show. Amazing. Yeah. I don't know where they filmed this, if it was a small studio, but whatever they did was very clever. Oh, yeah. They keep it cropped tightly, mm. and because it's dark around them, you think it goes on forever. So they could very well be in Rotterdam, or they could be somewhere even bigger than the Rotterdam Ahoy. Yeah. It's, just, it's a really, really clever, smart production technique. This is top television. Do you know what I'm saying? What they've managed to create with this. Good job. Good job, Australia. And Montaigne, you know, she was, I, we saw I, the full performance and the choreography was amazing. Yeah. And, you know, she, they, they actually made, you know, with their hand, they were like, yeah. 
Yay! That it was cool. It has this whole, like, I don't know, a girls cricket team, Yay. girls soccer team. Come on, girls. Three, two, one. Technicolor. Woo. Yeah, go you. <laughs> it's just, this team spirit. But it, it actually reminds me of Icona Pop a little bit in that bit. It's just, like, loud and brash yeah. and fun and cute. And I feel like this can go through. In our oh. interview with Montaigne, which is uploading now to the Weeby Blogs YouTube channel, she said, oh, people say I'm not going through. I've read the comments online. Oh, girl, don't Those comments came to... prematurely, because no. uh -huh. after watching this, I think she could go through. All that matters is on the live show what's happening. And luckily not... for her, we've seen her live show. Yes. Yes. Like, uh, we I mean, know it's solid. We know it, yeah. So I, I, I want to see what the bookies are doing. But, that... oh, I want to know what happened with the second outfit, you know, with the... Yeah. Uh, that silver co color reflecting outfit. That's the thing. That's why I'm confused, because hmm. in the first rehearsal, we saw the silver. May maybe this was the rehearsal, and... Yeah. Maybe, maybe oh. the... I don't know. Maybe they will remove that jacket, and, you know... Yeah. I don't know. They're probably like, teasing stuff. Because in our interview, which you can watch on the Wee Wee Vlogs YouTube channel, she said, I asked her, I said, oh, you know, we loved your first rehearsal clip. What did you think? And she said, oh, I'm not sure what they're teasing yet. So, oh. yeah, there probably are different versions yes. in the pipeline. Definitely. Fascinating. Yeah. Um, I feel that was just, honestly, we've seen everything now <laughs> except for the big six. Nothing looks like that. N literally, in, in, no, in its I own texture, its own sound. Until now, this is my best from today's rehearsal. Oh, definitely. This is my favorite visual yeah. so far. Actually, the, the vocal was on point. Oh. That was, it was flawless. It was flawless. No question. No. Wow, question. Australia, like, guys, you're still in this, babes. Technique, technique. You're still color. into this. Or in this. I can't speak. I need to have a coffee. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you living Montaigne's Technicolor fantasy? Let us know here on WeWe Blogs. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and write down your comment because we have a lot of videos coming up today. Yes, queens and kings. And <laughs> we will see you later. Bye. Bye.